um, Facebook, the very addictive social networking site, started off uh, for university students, but the other day my mother joined, and I've decided not to befriend her. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> brought up moral issues, but um, that was my decision on that. Music box, uh, free music box, otherwise known as sh charity box, it's a combination of sharing, charity, and rarity. Um, this one meets and sounds, uh, packs up old out of print records for people to listen to. A great thing about the internet is the immediate discussion that it brings um, across international waters. So you could be, I don't know, looking up how to build a computer and you could log on to. A discussion about it, and someone's already discussing it, so you'll be able to find out really quickly. Speaking of discussion, um, internet radio is, is brilliant for for allowing people to set up their own kind of broadcasting or media broadcasting without having to pay for licensing. Um, uh, this is WFMU. I don't know if you know it, but you can listen to you know these people speaking in New Jersey. <laughs> Another really weird thing about the internet is that um, big kind of communities gather and I found one about photoshopping games characters and that's what they do. <laughs> that's terrible. I don't know if anyone will think that. Um, that uh, it's the map of the world. Uh, I think something that hasn't been really brought up in their life uh, the launch week of the blog is the fact that you know such a small percentage of the world's population actually own computers, and even smaller uh, percentage of that actually have access to the internet. And I, I thought you know addressing that maybe put this whole thing into moral context. Um, it could be a positive or a negative, but the internet has allowed for rapid development of news and blogs and raw news feeds, which could mean the death of newspapers in print, um, but it's also really good because... Uh, has anyone ever had a 404 error? Yeah. Um, they've not found, a, yeah, I found this uh, image today on a, on a blog of a building not found, although it's a lovely sort of physical representation of something missing and something that's, that's absent, so kind of negative space as it were. Um, Google's really great because you can search for things that you want, but also things that you don't. So if you don't really know what you're looking for, then you can type in anything. For instance, I typed, I am extremely, and got, I am extremely terrified of Chinese people. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Has anyone ever seen the fly? Um, uh, the big job Jeff Goldblum puts a orangutan in the uh, transport. I thought maybe an image of when, when he puts the cat in, it comes out as this big mashed up thing of fur. Uh, um, yeah, I, I found this again today, it's, it's scared the shit out of me. Uh. Um, the internet has allowed for obscure sports to you know, flourish and find new audiences. I found the Pillow Fight League, which is a real hardcore sport in America. Um, People like uh, carbon monoxide, uh, you know, been brought to fame through it. Um. Has anyone ever played squash near? Uh, I've, uh, so, a website by Alan Murray who, who basically designed this beautiful bit of um, beautiful instruction manual for how to play squash. Um, it's it's uh, yeah, a bit. <laughs> I, I just love the design of it. Um. Uh, YouTube, sorry, has spawned a lot of music stars. Kind of, you know, you're popular when you've hit three million hits or three million views. But this guy, he did a song called Chocolate Rain, had several remixes made of his song, and also somebody got a tattoo of him on his arm. Two point naught is usually um, ascribed to web, but I think it also can apply to a lot of uh, resurgent things, such as. Uh, Batman, like the Dark Knight, it's a kind of uh, re-emergence of the, the genre kind of brought back to life. Uh, same with Battlestar Galactica, which is reimagined quite recently. Internet has spawned a lot of weird speak and mutated language, which is often just really lazy abbreviations of things like LOL, laugh out loud, or laugh my ass off, ML, LMAO, sorry. 
So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. It's, I just think it's just lazy. John Cage's 4 minutes 33 can now be bought as a, an MP3. It's not only his internet made uh, music a, a formatless thing, it's also made it a substanceless thing. Um, you can use it as a ringtone as well, you know, once you're on the bus, just silence. It be nice, isn't it? Uh, I found a really weird blog uh, just completely about failing about people failing, about people taking, uh, people taking pictures of other people failing and kind of celebrating it on the blog. So here we have a parent failing. Has it... anyone ever seen Asimo falling down the stairs? It's wonderful. It's a, it's a scene, he's, he's walks, you know, he turns around, he's full of pride and he's proud and then he gets a few, a few steps up and he just falls over and it's, it's tragic and it's saddening. Um, and you can see this on YouTube and not, not, much, not much more else. A great thing about the internet is you can play a lot around with truth and what's authentic and there's a thing called Encyclopedia which is like Wikipedia but it's just full of loads more made up stuff like world history and long essays about world wars that have happened. I found this on my friend Simon's blog, uh, it's called In B Flat. Uh, people are asked to submit uh, YouTube videos of themselves playing a musical instrument in the key of B flat. And the, the artist, uh, I think it's Darren Solomon, had put together this grid where you click on each of the links and basically make your own music from these other clips. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon Matthews and Giles Bunk.